how to update your Kia's display audio software for free and at home. It's important to note that this update applies only to vehicles with the 7 and 8 inch infotainment screens without built-in navigation. You will need a USB drive with at least 4 gigabytes of capacity formatted to FAT32. If you have a vehicle with built-in navigation, the overall process will be similar but the downloadable update file will be different and it will require the use of an additional software tool to facilitate the download. After you have distinguished which infotainment system your vehicle has, I would recommend first checking whether an update is available. You can check the software version by going to Setup, General, and under Software Version, the current software version will be displayed. If the version number differs from the one located on the Kia Update website, then you should proceed with the update. To find the correct display audio update file for your vehicle, go to the website located on the screen or in the description below. Once on this website, click Notifications, then Display Audio Software Update. On the screen, you are given the option for two display audio generation groups. Generally, if you have a 2021 or newer vehicle, the update will be found under Gen 2V, but please verify the correct file is downloaded depending on the model year of your vehicle. Once you download the file for your vehicle, locate the file on your computer. Extract the first zip file, but do not extract the second file that is now viewable once the first one is extracted. Copy the second file from your computer to the USB drive. Once copied, eject the USB drive from your computer and head to the vehicle. Once inside the vehicle, turn the vehicle on and plug the USB drive into the media USB port in the center console. I'd recommend turning off Bluetooth from your phone as well before updating. Go back to the software menu mentioned above by going to Setup, in general, then press the update button at the bottom of the screen. The update should take 10 to 15 minutes and the screen may turn on and off during the update. Once completed, you can check the version to see if it matches the version from the website to verify that the update is successful. Hopefully you found this video helpful and have successfully installed the latest Kia software on your vehicle. Now please remember to hit that like button if you guys found this video helpful. It greatly helps out the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or uh, suggestions on future video topics, please leave that all in the comment section below and I will read every single one of them. So as always, see you in the next video.